Hello friends, my name is Saramat and in today's video we are going to learn that how you can create your own Google Apps script. So this tutorial is basically on uh, introduction of Google Apps script and what are Apps script? Basically Google Apps script is a web based application language which is very light in weight and it is usually used to create your own web application based on google drive google docs or some script language you can also use the google app script to automate your work using google sheets and docs by fetching your work more fast than ever before but some of the things you need to know before starting the google app scripts are some programming languages that are very important in google app script that is first thing you need to know is you must have a google account for that that would be like gmail account and then you need to be expert in html and css and you know some basic use of javascript like you must be a beginner of beginner in uh, javascript and then you know what are uh, apis and how you can use google apis in different functions so you must know about apis as well and you need a blog or a website for that so it's gonna be some premium website or free wordpress or a blogspot blog now what is the interface of the google apps script so here are some images i have placed and these are the interface of a google apps script and you can also use your custom add-ons using a google apps script some script using uh, in spreadsheet or forms or google docs so it will auto flow your work more fast and very easy so what is the interface of the google apps script so here's the interface of the google apps script that how the internet Feature of Google Apps Script will show. So this is the coding of my map feature application, and it is an basically add-on which is used in Google uh, Docs to fetch map into the Google document file. So here's the uh, interface, and you can see that you can place your code and then go back to the Google Sheets and then implement on there, and it will work very fine. So we will learn everything and each and every piece of code in this tutorial series of google apps scripts now let's start it at how you can uh, write your first google apps script so for that we need to go to our google drive that is drive.google.com and from here we need to create some document file that would be a blank document file and you can name it as whatever you want so i'm going to name it as tutorial one So here's a document file. Now what we need to do next is we need to go to the script on the backend and implement some functions. So for that you need to go to the tools and then go to the script editor. So it, it works basically on a backend and you can implement different script to fetch your work on Google document as a live function. So I'm going to name it as tutorial one. and it's done now so this is the interface of the google app scripts and you can see that the code.js file is the main google script function files so you need to implement all your functions here on this code.js file and you, you can also create your other files like some css and javascript files so let's see that how you can create them first of all we have a menu here that is file and here are some functions like a new function that would be a new project so if you are going to add some new javascript project or google script project you need to click on here and you can start your own uh, google script project as a new now here are script files so if you are want to add some script file that would be like any js or google script file so i'm going to name it as uh, google so just create this file and it will create a file here that would be gs file so this is a google script file these are basically used and if you are going to use some uh, functions like two functions of same uh, google script then you can use multiple google script file you can also delete the file rename and make a copy of that as well now go to the file new and the html file so here's the html file we can name it as whatever we want so i'm going to name it as index.html uh, the extension would be automatically placed here so 
nothing to be worried about now how you can create a css file and a js file so in the google apps script you need to know that the html file is the main file which contain every css and other files so for that i'm going to name it as style sheet and here's the style sheet html file so what next is i'm going to place a style css here and this is the style css file and we can place any style here and just recall it here how you can recall it i'll tell you that how you can recall any css file in html file so this is basically the style file and how you can add a javascript file so for that go into the file and add new and then go to the html file and name it as javascript and you, you can name whatever you want so then, then go to the and right here that script and go to the type and what type is that that it would be a java or javascript or whatever so i'm going to name it as javascript slash text and right after that close the script file so here we done so this is basically the script file so in this way you can create javascript and css files here and link them with this one and as well as this one so we will learn it in future that how you can do it now we are going to the first function would be some kind of hello world function so what next i'm going to do is i'm going to the file again and you can see that you can see as a revision you can also rename your project you can delete your project you can make a copy you can save and you can save all files uh, for example you have 10 to 15 script files here so, so you can save them all by going to here that is this one or you can also use a shortcut command that is control shift apps you can also manage your web app versions that if you have some web app and you are going to manage a new version for that so you can manage it from here we will learn in future that how you can do it in the edit menu we have some select all features find and replace word completion and some other stuff so you can use them as well or in the view section you can execute transcript you can check out the log and some of the other functions you can check out them they are not basically used in google apps script very fluently so nothing to get messed with them here and the run function is the main function that uh, every google script function placed here will be shown up here like if you are going to place an, an open function so the function would be like on open so it will show you uh, on open here like here so this is the main function thing so it depends that what type of function is placed here so it will display that function here so you can also go to the run and you can play your function so if any function is placed inside the function file then you can simply press on this run button and it will execute it so there is nothing to execute here now go to the run again and now go to the publish so if you have created some kind of web app and we will learn that how you can create a, some html web app into the google app script and run it as a free web app on uh, google and you can share the link with anyone and he can use your web app for free so you can deploy it as a web app and you can manage your version that would be like 0 0.1 or 1.0 you can select your deploy email address and then you can select that it would be like anyone with their google account or anyone anonymous without a google account so there are the best options here you can choose it again go to the publish and deploy it as api api executable app deploy as docs web add-on so you can also use it as a add-on and you can publish it on chrome store so it would be like in a review and they will review your web app and if there's any bug you will need to resolve it and then you can test it as add-on and you can also make a android add-on as well so you can test it as a as well um, as well here and you can use it now into the resource you can check out the libraries so here are the api libraries but i was talking in the beginning of the tutorial that what are the apis 
so here's are the apis and if i go to the cloud platform here and it will show you a my project link that would be tutorial one link so if i go to this link here it will take me to the google cloud platform in where all the apis are being stored and my one application is online that is a map fetcher so if i go to the map fetcher from here you can see that it is showing my three web app applications that is map fetcher which is publicly used and these two are tutorial one as a demo so in this uh, in here you can link your apis that would be like here api source and you can get into the dashboard and you can select your api you can publish your uh, web app online so it would be sent as a review to google and they will accept it and then it will be listed at, as public and you can go to the libraries and you can select out the apis of any api you want from here you can also use them in your web app so it is an api library you can auth your web app using on the screen so here would be a, a home address logo your project name and then the logo for your project which will display while when someone authorized your web app so here are some features you can also use them and your domain verification that they need your domain verification for the privacy and policy page so this is whole google platforms that is cloud platform to fetch your web app online so it would work and now in the resource there is the advanced google services so you can use them as well like deploy dictionary version and some other features so you can use them um, online for your web app so we will discuss it that how you can use them in your web app so basically this is the interface of google web apps and google apps script so you can how you can use them in your daily life and how you can fetch them you can also check them you can also see this script function in every file so i'm going to test it on every file for you so i'm going to use it here uh, like this is our doc document file and if i go back here so here is our one document file which i have created and when i uh, double click on it it will open this file here and if i go back to the script file so what next i will do that i will go to the tools and go to the script editor so my all the files are being saved so they are open as exciting files here here you can see that so you can edit anything you want from here now this is basically was a google document script file now i'm going to create some style sheet script file from here so i'm going to select the style sheet as a blank document and I'm going to name it as a same tutorial one and now what next is i'm going to the tools and then go to the script script editor here and you can see that it will open a script ed editor and now you can do the same function as we have done in the words document so these are the same features in the and now i'm going to select uh, slide function as well you can also use a slide for the same thing and what next is i'm going to use as a form here so this is the best thing in google forms you can also use a google forms uh, as a script file that i have my own add-on here uh, it will be listed here soon here so this is my email notification form and this form helps me in different manners so i can use them in my google docs and google forms to fetch notification every time when someone fill out the forms how you can create your own form script file go to here and then go to the script editor so you can create your own notification bar or you can use your add-on here to use them but these add-ons are not being used publicly so you can only use them or you can send them with your friend with a private link and they will tell them that it would be harmful for you because that app would be not verified so if you want to make that app publicly used you need to verify it to use it uh, as a public so these all files are being saved in your google drive and you can check out here and my forms would be listed here soon so whenever uh, i save my form it will be listed here and the other stuff so you can see that here's the form here's the spreadsheet and here's the document file so in all these files you can use google apps script to automate your workflow in very easy way so 
this is basically the introduction of the Google Apps Script. Hopefully, you will like this tutorial and you will love the Google Apps Script. And you can also watch my other videos I'm going to publish on a weekly basis regarding Google Apps Script. So you can automate your work more easily using Google Apps Script. Do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon on the subscribe button so that you can get a notification when I publish my new video regarding Google Apps Scripts. Thanks.